Hello lovely learners, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do laundry at the University of Northern Colorado. So some of you may already have known to do laundry, hope know how to do it, hopefully you do, did some at home. Um, if you didn't, I'm going to go through step by step how to do laundry in general and then also just what laundry looks like um, at UNC specifically. Um, because I know like for me at home, I have a top loading washer, um, here it's front loading and it's just some different, some different things. Um, so we're going to go over how to do that. Um, I'm going to take a second right now to kind of talk about the different loads of laundry that I do. Um, and also remember if you live close, you can always go home to do your laundry too. But if you're far or don't want to do that, let's talk about it. So first things first. Um, personally, I feel like the washers here are a little bit smaller than I'm used to. So if you accumulate, like if you only do laundry every two weeks and you have a lot, you're probably going to need to do multiple loads because they're just not going to get as clean or it, it's just not going to work if you just shove as many clothes as you possibly can into the washer. So I'm probably going to do two loads of clothes today. Um, I'm also going to sort out my socks and underwear. Um, because you totally can put it all in it at once. Um, the only thing is I've read articles and heard things about um, then the uh, underwear germs are getting on everything. Um, and I don't really want that on, you know, all of my clothes. So I don't do that. I wash, um, uh, we'll go over this, but because um, I wash clothes in cold, but I wash towels and sheets in hot. I usually put my underwear and socks in with my towels. So that's, so I'll have two loads of clothes today, a load of towels, socks and underwear. Um, I'm not washing my sheets today. I do my sheets every two weeks and I did them last week, but those I also wash on hot um, by themselves. And um, when I do the towels, I also wash like my bathroom rug and stuff like that. Um, and I think that's all of them. So I don't have too many different types of loads. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep, t so anyway, that is um, kind of the basic overview of what we're gonna be doing today. Um, and yeah, something that I should mention, um, I, again, if you've never done laundry before, you may have heard or seen on TV that you have to separate colored lights from darks and things like that. Um, because of the way that modern detergent is formulated, you actually don't have to do that anymore. Um, I, like I said, with the color catchers, there are some things that might bleed, so you'll want to watch for that. But like because I've washed all my clothes before, I know that they don't bleed onto each other, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, again, certainly, if you have a very, very intensely dyed red sock and you know it gets into your white, it, with your white clothes, it certainly could dye it, but that is way less likely to happen now. So I do not separate lights from darks. Something else I want to mention before we go to the laundry room is um, depending on what which um, residence hall you're in here, um, your laundry could be in the basement, it could be on your floor, it could be on the floor below you. Um, mine is on my floor, so I can run back and forth more times, um, but just know that that is a thing. Um, your laundry might be located in some different areas. All right, first things first, I don't like to walk around the floor in my socks or bare feet. So I have what I call my laundry slippers. They have hedgehogs on them. So love that. Okay. Ignore what a mess my closet is. Um, the important thing is my laundry stuff is in here. So I'm going to get my detergent, which, um, the detergent you're supposed to use, it's supposed to have this little, um, H E symbol on it. Um, to do stuff here and they really prefer that it's not scented because everyone's using these machines. Um, mine is also like super concentrated. You can see 75% more loads. So it's like a smaller bottle, but you use less detergent and it lasts longer. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my detergent. Some other things you might want include stain remover. I haven't had to use this yet. Thank goodness. That's why I wear dark clothes because I spill on myself a lot. I also have color catchers. I use these if I'm um, gonna wash um, fabric for something I'm sewing or if um, 
I like if there's some if I get a new garment that has like super super colorful um, dyes or something so that it doesn't bleed onto other clothes. Finally, we have dryer sheets. These are the ones that I use. Um, I'm looking into a more sustainable option because I don't really love this, but I haven't figured out yet if I want to use um, silicone balls or like wool balls or what yet for that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, this is my laundry bag. So I usually just have it hanging on the back of my bathroom door. There's a hook there and it's got this little strap thing. Um, and then I you know at the end of the day when I like get in my pajamas I just throw my clothes in here so that's great and then it, it, it does expand like if you need to fit more stuff in there I have fit a lot in here this week I don't have as many clothes to wash so that's good it has backpack straps so I'm going to show you I'll take it off of here it's you know easier when you have two hands all right and then you can wear it um of course you could do one strap or both straps if I can find it. Um, I did, there are ones that I would, um, different ones I would probably get in the future. This is not working. Um, just because there are ones that like have a pocket for your detergent, mine doesn't. So I just put the detergent in there. Like it's not technically hurting anything, but I think that would be cool. So yes, now we've got our laundry. And we've got our detergent, so we're ready for the first step, which is put the first load in. Let's do it. Something I wanted to say really fast, um, ladies, you should hook your bras. Um, that'll give, that'll keep the elastic um, good for longer. So hook them before you put them into the washer. And along that vein, if you have to do multiple loads of laundry, I would say put your, make sure your bras go in the first one because. Um, it's again it'll increase their longevity if you don't put them through the dryer so i put mine on the drying rack and so then they take longer to dry so put them in the first load and then they'll have longer to be drying and whatnot actually that goes for anything that has to go on the drying rack if you know anything has to air dry put it in the first load because then you can be doing the other laundry while that stuff is drying okay i lied two more things before we go start the laundry first thing is don't forget your room key um, as I was just about to do, because then you'll be locked out and you'll have to go down to the front desk um, and get a lockout key. So I, I, I have my key now. Um, and also, um, don't use all the washers and dryers at once. Like my floor, um, we ha technically have two laundry rooms, but I use the one closest to me, um, as do the other people on my side of the floor. So we have two washers and two dryers because there's less people living on this side. So I never take both washers because that's super rude if someone else wanted to do their laundry. Usually I do my laundry at night, which is when everyone else does it. I'm doing it in the middle of the day right now because one of my classes got canceled. So I probably could get away with using them both, but I just, I don't want to be rude. So I'm just going to use one, even though you'll see there are two available. Okay, sorry for the fan noise. This is what the laundry room looks like. There's a utility sink, two washers, two dryers, a table, I guess, if you want it to like fold your clothes, trash cans. There is a phone in here because this is an area of refuge in an emergency situation. Then there are the tips for laundry and machine use. Um, the stain guide, laundry etiquette, you can see don't use all of the machines at once, don't leave your laundry behind, uh, don't mess with somebody else's laundry if it's just sitting there, use unscented, um, leave the washer door open because um, side loaders can get um, like mildewy, um, clean out the lint trap which we'll talk about, and then how to do the wash alert which I will show you in a second. So. Here is the machine we're gonna use, so let's do it. Like I mentioned before, I had less clothes than I thought this week, so I actually got away with doing one load. So let's see what this looks like. My clothes are in there. The door just is, is a door, so there's everything. Um, like I said, let's look in the empty one. It's not huge in there, although it looks bigger on camera. So, because this is clothing, regular clothing, we're gonna say, um, medium soil just because I feel like these washers don't always do the best job so I want it to really do some stuff. Perm press is usually what you do for regular clothing and then cold because that's gentler. Um, 
There are the operating instructions here. I'm doing it a little bit out of order, but it's okay. We're gonna do our detergent. The lid is your measuring cup. Um, how much you, how much detergent you use will vary on your detergent and load type. So for example, me, because it's the extra concentrated, I just fill it to this little line, unless it's a like really ginormous load. Okay. Now this goes in, they have a diagram here. So I only do main wash detergents, so that goes in the B compartment, so right here. You can do fabric softener or anything like that, I just don't. You close the door, put the lid back on your detergent, it's just hard for me to do that while holding my phone. And then we're just gonna press start. So you'll see there's 34 minutes left, so you can do two things. You can either set a timer for 34 minutes, or I'm gonna show you wash alerts right now. All right, my friends, so here is the laundry page. Um, it's unco.edu slash living on campus slash housing slash laundry, or I just look up UNCO laundry alerts and this is the first option. Um, you can report an issue with the machines or you can pick wash alerts. So we're gonna pick the Ridge neighborhood, that is where I live. So you'll see um, Lawrenson North and South that comprises the Ridge neighborhood. We're going to pick one of those. Um, I can't show you which one, but the page is going to look like this. Um, and you'll see there's that one that we're using right now. It says there's 32 minutes left. Um, and you'll put in, so it's actually really weird. I This is the first time I've really done this because the last time I tried to do it, it was down. So there's actually this really interesting thing where um, it can text or email you. I prefer text, but you have to put in a special um, email thing that connects to your phone number. So here is that list. Um, so I went back and I tried this again and I did it with the list this time. Um, and that seems to have worked. I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Um, you could also just watch that to see how much time you have left. All right, here's the dryer. I brought my dryer sheet with me. So we're gonna throw the dryer sheet in there and then you're supposed to clean the lid trap out after you go. Some people don't though. Looks like whoever used this one did, so that's very nice. Um, the reason you have to empty those is because it can catch on fire otherwise. So let's grab our clothes. I'm gonna transfer from here to here and I'll see you in a second because I need both hands for that. Make sure you keep anything that can't go in the dryer out when you move it. This is my pile of stuff I need to put on my drying rack. We need to get this done so that stuff doesn't wrinkle. So. I'm going to do medi uh, medium temperature and um, I never use the delicate cycle because it's just not going to get um, dry and then you hit this. Um, I usually give stuff an hour because it's usually how long it takes for things to dry. So four times then it'll add 15 minutes each time. All right, so I kind of consider a drying rack a necessity because most dorm rooms aren't really going to have good places to hang stuff. So my bathroom's ginormous, so I just put it in my bathroom. Make sure you're reading labels to know what needs to be hung to dry. A lot of stretchy knit stuff is what's gonna need that. Um, and like I said, bras and stuff like that. So yes, have a drying rack and use it. All right, so I'm gonna get everything out of there. I'm just checking to make sure that it's actually dry. I had way less clothes than I thought I did. Okay, I'm gonna clean out the lint trap. Just reach in there, scoop that out. Into the trash it goes, and that's it. All right, it is time to fold all of this. So, it I am not the best folder ever, but I'm just gonna show you. So like my shorts, I just fold them in half like that. Um, it's easier to fold them like this than like that. I don't know why, it, it just is. Um, this goes in the closet, so I'll hang that up in a second. Try not to leave stuff sitting too long because it will get wrinkled. Um, these hang up, so I'll just fold them once like this, and then they'll go on a hanger in the closet. This is also a closet. I hate hanging clothes up. I don't know why, but I also hate folding them. So it's really just a lose-lose situation. Okay, t-shirts. This is where I struggle, but I'm getting better. So there's a couple different ways. The way that I do it is just take, take it, 
fold that side in, fold that side in, and let it fall. Um, again, different ways, but anyway, so that's pretty much, oh, the only other like type of clothing I have in here um, are my camisoles. These, instead of folding it like a shirt, I fold it in half, then in half again, and then, so it's a little pocketbook. Otherwise, it's all what I've already showed you, so I'm just gonna finish folding this. All right, y'all, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, the only thing, so um, I did not show you my towel load just because it's basically the same. What I'll say, the only thing you change is pretty much change the water temperature to hot. And that's pretty, the only, pretty much the only thing that I do differently. Um, everything else is exactly the same. So I hope that you found this video helpful or interesting, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye!